them. Anyways, anyways, so we're gonna go take a look. So we're gonna take a look at this video. We're gonna take a look at this video. At least say hi, then ask weird shit. I know they didn't. They didn't even say anything. So what a, what a weirdo. So, anyways, so like I said before, right? You know, I don't say I don't think streaming is hard. You know, it's not like it's nowhere near hard compared to some other jobs. You know that I've that I've done. You know, I've done bartending. I've done customer service stuff. I've done uh, kitchen cooking in the kitchen. Uh, I've done security. I've done security stuff too as well. Um, um, uh, what else? What else have I done? Oh yes, I worked at a at a plant, at a, like at a plant store. That's what I've I've done that too as well. For once, I'm not the weirdo in chat. <laughs> Anyways, I want to see what the whole Hassan Piker having a meltdown. What 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 is this about? So, anyways, let's take a look, shall we? You should call Hassan and apologize. Why is this on that? What did I do? I know it has become somewhat of a tradition to talk about Hassan Piker like once per week, but in my defense, is it my fault this guy opens his- What the fuck? It was kind of weird, I ain't gonna lie mouth and says the stupidest things on the daily how is it my fault that this guy keeps saying ridiculous stuff and cries when one of his friends makes a video on him i wish i could tell i was joking and this video was clickbait but no hassan legitimately had a mental breakdown over one of his friends making a video calling him out for the whole streaming is harder than the 95 some things i agree with okay some things i'm like no being a twitch streamer is not harder than well any other job i do believe janitors have it worse than twitch streamers Streamers. I don't yeah. care if you're selling fruit in the street, your job is harder. Than oh yeah, oh yeah. Selling selling fruit out in the street. Oh yeah, 100 percent Why is it the first thing I have I have to see when I come in? Hey royalty. Hassan, my new favorite e girl. <laughs> my eyes. <laughs> and a YouTuber and a Twitch streamer, especially if you're a big Twitch streamer who does nothing but yap. So there's this YouTuber called That's Lipwick. True. He has another channel over a million subscribers. Not a fan, but I'm not here to talk about him. And he made a video called Huge Streaming Drama. He has a re-upload version. Wait, he has a re-upload version of it? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell. Oh, God. Oh, goodness gracious me. And the reason why it's not here is because the original one, he took down himself after Hassan cried about it and he raided his chat to tell him to apologize. I am not making this up, okay? And the thing is, Ludwig didn't even say anything crazy. Nothing that might be considered a betrayal, a heel turn, you know, turning on Hassan. And that's why some people very carefully choose what they talk about and what they don't talk about because they don't want to get in situations like these. As a streamer myself for almost six years now, on how hard it really is. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would look. I, I just. Oh God! It's just like, what's funny is you haven't even addressed this again since then. I know. It's just an opportunity for every single person to be like, look, guys, I'm a content creator. I'm really privileged. Like, yeah, dog. We all, we all are. We all talk about it all the fucking time. It just annoys me because like, it's such a fake fucking thing to do. It's just literally using someone who you're friends with like being maliciously clipped out of context to be like i'm actually one of the good content creators i know how privileged i am it's like yeah i do what 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 am i listening to what is this What? What is this guy talking about? This guy, this guy is talking about a whole different subject, right? Like he, th this guy is talking about a whole different subject, right? This has nothing to do with. Okay. All right. Do too. 
That's so fucking dumb. Oh my god. Like, oh yeah, yeah. It's like no different than what Muda did. He showed the context though. It doesn't fucking matter that he showed the context. It's just a way. <laughs> it doesn't fucking matter if you show the context is what he says. No fucking shot that he just fucking said that. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is the most dumbest logic I've I've ever fucking heard in my entire life. Bro, at least streamers don't have to travel one to half an hour each to their nine to five of pain. Yeah, that's understandable. Bro, this guy literally said is like at least he showed the context and then he's like, I don't care if he showed the context. What? What do you mean? Bro, this guy is butthurt. This guy is literally fucking butthurt. Like, you, you can sense the butthurtness off of this guy. God, this guy is dumb as fuck, dude. These people, these people here, these people, these individuals here, these people who are, who are watching him, gave him a fucking platform. That's what makes it even more sadder, to be honest. These, these, these baboons here gave him gave him an actual platform to speak on nonsense to be honest god dude i am like i'm like bruh i don't i don't really care if he if he like if he like comes after me or you know or whatnot after i post this video on on, on youtube i don't really care to be honest i just frankly don't care i really don't so Man asks you to be his yes man to be a Hassan's friend group. Pfft, I want this guy away from me. I would not go near him with a 10 foot pole, to be honest. Wouldn't touch this man with a 10 foot pole. Nope. Would not even touch it. Way to just literally farm off the fucking drama. Eh, whatever. Fuck it. The best is yet to come. I promise I'm not edging y'all. This is how privileged and entitled Hassan Piker is. He thinks he could say anything, any amount of stupidity, and he expects his friends, the people that he's cool with, I'm guessing he's talking about Ludwig and Mudahar because he does name drop him, because Mudahar wasn't rocking with Hassan's take. So what I believe here is that Hassan thinks that these content creators, the big three, the big four, will always have his back. He could say anything and these big guys won't touch it because, you know, they're friends with Hassan Piker. And that's the thing I hate about the internet, that if you're cool with that person, you gotta agree with every single thing they said. And if you're not cool with them, you gotta, you know, hate them and crucify them. It's like, I could like someone, I could be friends with a YouTuber, but if they say something dumb or retarded, yeah, I'm gonna say something about it. it doesn't mean I automatically hate you or I turn healed on you, or, you know, I backstabbed you. Sure, everyone says- Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, that's not, it's not a backstep. It's just a criticism. That's it, you know? Shit. Like, what? What is happening here? Like, I honestly... Like, damn, Ko saying Hassan not fit for the basement? That's tough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're probably right. Yeah, you probably... You're probably right, yeah. No, he's not fit for the basement. I, would, I wouldn't even want him nowhere near the basement, to be honest. He'll probably, he'll probably throw some some nonsense political stuff at you guys and you guys are going to be like sitting there listening to it the entire time basement doesn't want him yeah because he'll be throwing some nonsense political shenanigans you guys don't want to listen to that to be honest god damn dude even i don't want to listen to that i think he's fucking dumb stupid stuff from time to time i've done it and if i get called out and you know they're yeah. all right i'll just take it i'm not yeah. going to automatically drop you from my friends yeah group of course when we're all content creators so that's just something that pisses me off hassan really he thinks he's entitled him. to be protected by the big commentary guys all of these twitch streamers have no balls and ludwig is one of them so this means that hassan only wants yes man who will blindly agree with every single little thing he does and say hell no hell no if i okay so if i ever become famous right and like you know, I become friends with, you know, who are friends with Hassan, you know, Hassan Piker. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like, look, look here, dog. I don't want to meet Hassan Piker, okay? I want him far away from me, okay? I don't want this man nowhere near me with a 10-foot pole, okay? Like I said, I ain't gonna touch him with a 10-foot pole, okay? All right? <laughs> I don't want this. I don't want this dude nowhere near my circumference of my area. So get this man away from me.
days and that is one way to make sure you <laughs> you fucking crash and burn <sighs> it's like it's odd that i have to just like sit here and be like yeah that's right dude yeah wag your fucking finger at me like you know what i mean yeah it's just you're right a, a communist hypocrite fucking uh Ay, ay, ay. This bums me out more honestly than than random dumb fucks uh, online that are just saying a whole bunch of shit about my family or whatever. The shit from Twitter doesn't do anything. It's not real. It's like mostly fucking bot farmed into oblivion and it's like a right wing shithole. It's when content creators who are liberal Interesting. or have like a larger, broader audience, like an audience of real people, when they frame it in the same way that they see it off of Twitter, that is fucking that that actually does lead to real world shit so just is brian still alive <laughs> there you go there's your answer when you will become famous it would be nice to say i was there when she had when she had less than 2k followers yeah no you mean you mean viewers viewers is what as what the it's what's most important so 2k viewers you want to say not followers like I can have two, like I can have two K followers, but then have like you know, like twenty people watching me. It's kind of like, eh, you know, you know, it doesn't really consider me as a as a big as a big streamer. So, yeah, no, this guy, this guy, this guy is literally having like, like, like sensitive society is 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 correct here. He's having he's having a mental breakdown over this guy. Like like literally rip brain cells from listening to Hassan. <laughs> I was there when double digit viewers. <laughs> yeah so except king king was here with the single digit viewers he was here with in the single digit viewers so he was here he was here with the single digit wait isn't automatically sucking you off that's why you're pissed because he dares criticize the great hassan piker the multi-millionaire socialist with the rich daddy is that the reason why you're upset because one of your friends doesn't agree with you how are you this soft you're literally a grown-ass baby like when when my friend dare have a different opinion than me it's such a bitch ass move dude at this point i truly <laughs> Yeah, no, that's 100%. Hassan Base finished finished up a 14-hour shift in the basement grind, and I thought I had a hard job, but then I saw Hassan take, uh, Hassan's take and realized I have it easy. That man has it rough, sitting at home, watching YouTube, walking away from the computer for half an hour or so. Just heartbreaking stuff. I only stood up for 10, for 10 hours today. I need to think of other of, of others out there. King truly is an OG. Hmm? Hey King. Sheesh King. Some deep viewership lore. Yeah, King has been here since the single digits. But yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Oh man, I'm so sorry. I feel sorry for a millionaire, you know. Oh man. Damn. Oh no. The poor man, you know. Had to walk away, you know do believe if you're still after everyone has called out Hassan and made good exposed videos on him if you're still subscribed and watching Hassan Piker you have to be brain dead like there has to be something extremely wrong with you for you to constantly support this guy if you call me out you're not a real friend but if you have everyone just slapping you on and be like yeah you know you're great keep complaining about how you know battery draining streaming is for nine hours even though no one asked you to stream for nine hours keep going king preach and now what's going to happen is none of his friends are gonna call him out when he does say something dumb again i give it a week because they're that's pretty dumb that his friends doesn't don't call him out on his bullshit, you know? And they just only they don't want to hurt they don't want to hurt the poor widow widow Wasan, you know? The poor little Wasan, you know? Sage has one, noob also. Yeah, Sage Sage and Noob were here on on day 1, so you guys just don't understand the struggles of being rich socialist. <laughs> Other than those, I forgot. <laughs> this is why this is why supporting big streamers financially or with time or with time is just a waste of time. That's why that's why I just started with making videos on YouTube, just 26 subs. But we but we all have to start with something. Yeah, but the problem but the problem is Hassan has Hassan is a rich boy, you know. You know, Hassan Hassan is a rich boy, so 
he had everything, you know, on a silver platter while I had to struggle in the void, you know? It was fight for the survival in the void, so... My, my point of life is different compared to Hassan, and I'll never understand Hassan's, like, logic because it's all dumb at the end of the day, so... They're gonna be like, oh no, what if Hassan sends his fans to rape my stream and, and they're mean to me? And then I gotta take the video down and then re-upload it, okay? And I'm not trying to fucking woe is me for somebody making 50k playing video games. But it does get even worse for some streamers. Specifically, today, it got a whole lot worse for a lot of streamers. Because they woke up and the website that they used to stream on, that they built their career on, that they made their community in, is gone. And that's what I actually want to talk about here today, which is the Twitch shutdown in Korea. That's so whack. Oh my god. Like that? Jesus Christ. That's lame as fuck. Dude, come on, bro. Don't fucking farm me like that. Jesus Christ. That's lame as fuck, actually. He's not even farming you. <laughs> I don't think he knows the definition of farming somebody. I don't think I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. I don't think he knows. This guy is so dumb as fuck, to be honest. Holy shit, Jesus Christ. Damn, you guys stream? You guys have it easy. <laughs> bro, he's like, he's like, man, bro, I don't like this guy farming me. I was like, what are you talking about? This man only made like, like, like what? One small segment just calling you out. Just throwing a little small jab at you. Bro only made one vid. Equals farming, I guess. We're farming Sunako. <laughs> Even then, it's like, even then it was like only like, it was only like a few minutes. Like he was, it was only like a few minutes of him, of, of like him just, you know, saying like, oh, you know, it's so hard. You know, he's not even talking about, he's not even talking about you directly. He's talking about like everyone who's like, who was talking on this subject, you know? So not even low tier God would self insert himself like this. <laughs> like agriculture, what farming is. He's farming salt. <laughs> I don't know, dude. This guy's so dumb. This 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 moronic idiot has a platform. Every one of these people here is a fucking is a fucking baboon. It's just listening to one man spitting out nonsense. Jesus Christ. Like, I thought he was at least gonna oh uh, yeah. All right, for a good cause at least. Yeah, dude, uh, he's a great cause. He, he fucking threw me to the flames, posted a fucking Twitter, uh, a, a fake tweet, said that, you know, we are so privileged, actually, which he's right, we are. Something that I also agree with. He just said it was out of context, farmed me regardless, moved on to be like, look how nice I am. Um, and then, and then fucking flipped it over to something entirely different and sold a fucking rocket mortgage ad in the process. I might have to slow down for a second because I'm actually feeling bad for the multimillionaire out here. I need a moment of silence so I can think about how much pain Hassan is right now. And how can I send him a donation? How can I fund his next Porsche 911? You know, how can I fund his next multimillion dollar mansion? For someone who's so against capitalism, <laughs> he... Careful, Sonaka, if you overwork yourself like like her, you might become a millionaire. Stay poor, girl. <laughs> what do you mean, like her? Are you talking about? Are you talking about? You're talking about what's what? Hassan, female Hassan. <laughs> Stay poor. Keep hustling. I'm trying to keep. I'm trying to see if Dark is in Hassan's chat. <laughs> Him. Mm -hmm. Wait, is he streaming right now? Don't tell me he's actually streaming right now. I don't really want to know, to be honest. He sure loves taking donations, and I wonder where those donations go to. Do they go to a charity? Genuine question. If anyone could answer this, that'd be great. Do they go to a charity, or do these donations and Twitch subscriptions, do they go directly into his wallet? And this is love. Yeah, she's, isn't that your favorite e-girl right there? <laughs> Reacting to his son being upset after, I think, he he raided his stream. He sent a whole bunch of his viewers over to Ludwig's stream. Pretty much begged him to apologize. It's, it's one of the funniest things I've ever Wait. seen. Wait. You should call Hassan and apologize. Why is Hassan mad? What did I do? Oh no. <laughs> Fucking bad. What did I do? Because my mogul mail? I feel like everything I said was fine. Am I crazy? He's mad about the Dubai trip? Hassan raided him and his chat was spamming about it. 
He said, call Hassan, he's crying unironically. <laughs> Hard for views? Oh, well, I mean, shit, that's the deal. I'll just fucking pull him out of the thumbnail, and then I feel like it doesn't really matter much, right? No fucking shot. Are you serious? Oh, my God. He actually bend the will to some of these people just because Hassan is fucking crying off stream. Wow, dude. No way. Oh, no, you can't be serious with me, man. Nah, this is sad. Jesus, just imagine being raided by a whole bunch of fucking losers online and being talked into deleting that video or changing the thumbnail. Well, he did change the thumbnail, and then he took the whole video down and then he remade it and re uploaded it. This is the definition of having no balls, honestly. Just bending over That's and being pathetic. like, oh, yeah, son, you're That's right. Honestly, you, you, generally you're pathetic. doing so much for the leftist and socialist movement. Let me bend over and take it. Yeah, you know, I never liked Ludwig, so am I surprised that he's taking the L like this? Of course not. The L has to send for something his name right i can just pull him out i feel like that's because i feel like outside the thumbnail you can't really make that argument much here check it out boom that's a that's a, hey that's a change on the fly baby yeah ludwig folded in like two seconds oh no no oh, yeah, yeah sorry, you're right let me change it let me uh let me completely change everything about it anything you say n1 i'll do it master hassan i don't want to get on your bad side <laughs> Wow. All of these Twitch streamers have no fucking balls. And that wasn't enough, so he started bitching and moaning about how he and Ludwig were on Anthony Padilla's new show and their friends and they were there for two hours. And then he came. Wait, can I see real quick? It's extra funny because Lud and I did a round table of Anthony Padilla's new show where we talked about how we think streamers are out of touch and how privileged and lucky we are for like two hours only two weeks ago hasn't been released yet would have been nice would have been nice for him to be like hey guys by the way Hassan is my friend obviously he doesn't think streaming is the most difficult job in the world Of course, I will sub to my favorite e girl. They had they had it hard. I need to support them. <laughs> I don't have these problems because I because I don't watch I don't watch Twitch. Hey, fluorescent lamp, how you doing there, hun? I like VTubers. I don't even know who Hassan is. <laughs> I like humans. But DS new show and their friends and they were there for two hours and then he came out of nowhere and attacked me. How old is Hassan? He's almost thirty three years old and he's acting. What the fuck? This man is 32 years old and he's acting like this. That's actually pretty pathetic in my and I'm not going to lie. <laughs> what a pathetic, what an actual pathetic human being. Holy cow. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Wow. I feel like a 14 year old kid on Facebook who's mad at their friend because they don't like his newest profile picture. Brother is 33 years old acting like a kid on Facebook who's 12. Moral of the story, all Twitch streamers are bitches. Look how fast Ludwig folded. Look how Hassan was- Hey, 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 yo, 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 you can't say that to me, sensitive society. I didn't, I didn't even, I'm not even part of these people, so. <laughs> I think. But I don't think the content of what I said is, uh, Something I wouldn't say in public or to him personally. Unless that's a problem. What? But look, I'm going to deal with this off stream. I don't need to deal with this right now. Why did he take it down? <laughs> Why is there a re-uploaded version? And if you go to the comments, crazy that you changed the video so you wouldn't upset poor widow Hassan grow up here. Bro, Hassan cried and you changed the title. Stand up for yourself and don't get pushed around so much. It just makes him look weak. Yes, Hassan, I'll take it down. Right now, right this second. You want me to, to take my own life as well? You want me to divorce my wife? You want me to delete my YouTube channel? I I'll do whatever you want, Hassan. This is straight up pushover bitch behavior. You took it down because Hassan complained. You and your streamer friends are the fakest people ever. No integrity, do better. Talk about spineless, disappointing. So his own fan base is upset. All of these people are hip. Jesus Christ, his own fan base. His own fan base is like, wow, grow a pair of fucking balls. God damn, can we see that? Can we actually see the, can we see the video real quick? What is there, Ludwig, right? 
Let's take a look real quick. Uh, where's, uh, does he have other videos or something? Or, I mean, does he have another channel or so? Oh, yeah, here it is. Mogul, mogul mail or whatever you want to, wherever you want to call it. Well, he did, because the original video was 12 minutes long. Let's, let's take a look at the comment sections real quick. the hardest job on earth if you ask me i'd say being a marine okay no, no actually one addendum being a pregnant marine okay one more addendum being a youtuber when you have to re-upload being a pregnant youtuber when you have to re-upload a video how's it going <laughs> what's up you guys uh didn't know that was a mogul mail that i uploaded yesterday uh, you might not have seen it though because i took the video down the video was called do streamers have hard jobs uh and the reason i took it down is because we had a great sponsor on it but the great sponsor wasn't getting great views. In fact, that's a fuck. Okay. All right. I'm not going to listen to this. Let's see here. If you a Minecrafter would do something dumb. If you a Minecrafter would do something. What the fuck? No balls, you refuse to stand up to your friend and being completely wrong. Subway needs to stop bending backwards for the left party. He does he does it even when they are wrong, and he's not even a political streamer. I also want to add that there's nothing wrong with leaning left, but have some freedom and thought for Christ's sakes. I watch H3 too, and he's guilty for the same thing. He re-uploaded the video exactly to remove a couple of super tame wording and jokes regarding to Hassan, like a comical point of, of it not being necessarily it's 100% at some brand thing. The original video was fine and even and even that was walking on eggshells, but, uh, but of course Hassan got mad about it as he does. Then no surprise Ludwig the lab dog cut the video up again to re-upload it again uh, added more uh, more how Hassan had been so influenced to him it blah blah and blah blah I don't know what that means blah blah okay apparently it re-uploaded it twice and, but uh, not sure about that damn dude that is actually pretty fucking sad not gonna lie quite disappointing in this walk back lud it is so sad to see you doing this, bro. Please just don't don't ever make a video on people you're friends with because no one will trust your takes is genuine. Sag Ludwig. What a weak ass coward. Coward. No spine. Being a subscriber of Hassan is already dumb, but being friends with Hassan is even worse. Calls out Keemstar for addressing Hassan's insult takes, but deletes and, and can't address his friends. Welcome to the insult unaccountable echo chamber fall off old man holy shit jesus christ we uploaded the video because someone was crying off stream good actor there crying on demand yep no balls plus lying about destiny community making death threats why why do this lud you're you're one of the few influencers that spreads positivity but when it comes to people hassan doesn't like you become a bad faith and spread misinformation Sort of disappointing in you blaming one streamer's fan base with no evidence for the whole thing. It is, it it does hit your credibility. Hoping better and greater things from you in the future, though. Nice integrity, Ludwig. Bro isn't beating the fence. Sitting allegation. Good luck glazing ha Hamasa. Hamasa. DGG isn't defending your loser ass. I used to watch this channel and others since the start of the Mogul Mail. And the lack of spine makes me unsub. Sorry for bad in Inglado. Inglando? I don't know what that is. So sad to see Ludwig fall off unsubbed. Damn. Jesus Christ. Lots of people are taking online of how office works so much easier in service. I would go as far as to say that being a streamer is harder than pushing pencil and answering emails all day. 
Bend the knee. Not a single soul doesn't think has doesn't think you're Hassan's lap dog, apart from socialist. Damn. Damn. The comment sections are you know his fan base is definitely pretty much going against them. This is so this is so frustrating. This is truly how you feel. Then fine, but it really really feels like you're just soft balling for your friends. No balls. No balls. God, what a pansy ass. Grow a spine, dude. Don't fold to someone like Hassan, man. Come on. Damn, you decided to check in on this reception and it isn't good for Ludwig. Jesus Christ, you have no spine. This was spineless. This is probably the most spineless move I've seen on the internet today. The next Ludwig event would be super awkward. Poor Hassan, to be honest. Always getting hated on. <laughs> How's the trust funds, baby boots? Taste like damn disappointed. This is disappointing. Although I probably shouldn't be surprised by the dumb way streamers sell out. Sell out, sell out two face unsub. Damn. God Jesus Christ. And it keeps going. Hassan demands that glazing, huh? Wow. Yeah, anyways, um, my opinion, Hassan is dumb as fuck, and, and Ludwig is a spineless coward who decided to, who decided to re-upload this video, so, yeah, pretty, pretty sad and disappointing, I'm gonna put a dislike on that, just automatically, just because, you know, man, man just decided to bend a knee, decided to bend a knee for, uh, for that and anyways that's pretty sad and yeah yeah that's that's something that is that is something so i've i've talked i've talked about like uh you know the uh, hassan piker a while ago or so right on stream but that was like last year specifically right my opinion on this guy specifically hassan has not changed from the last time I've said it, right? I think he's fucking dumb. <laughs> I think he's fucking dumb. He doesn't know what he's talking about, right? Half the entire time. So it's kind of like, you know, it's kind of like, huh, interesting. So this man actually has like, you know, good. Don't, don't watch any of his streams. It's all, it's all dumb political stuff. I think Hassan is is a nice person. Okay, all right, buddy. Until he opens his mouth, <laughs> my mental health suffers less. Hmm. <laughs> anyways, anyways. So, so there's so so I know the whole recent thing, right? Because I know Senna Senna sent me, you know, asked me a question or so in stream. It's like, what do you think about the whole, you know, you know streamers uh you know streaming is 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 a hard job you know and uh and I, i've said this i've said this before you know first um <laughs> uh, i've said this i've said this before on stream right but i i didn't ever record it or so um you know i am i am a streamer and i am a youtube and i am a youtube content creator and i make art stuff too as well right um, and I've worked and I worked an IRL job. Okay. I worked, I worked in IRL jobs, jobs. I'm going to say plural because I worked in a lot. So, um, I do have to say my bartending one was probably the most funnest one that I've done compared to, compared to the other jobs that I've, that I've done. Bartending was probably the funnest job I did, but unfortunately, you know, it, it didn't last. You know, it didn't last very long, so. Um, well, actually, it lasted, it, it lasted pretty well, but, you know, it's just the problem that some people have some issues, so. This is, this is how I, this is how I said it, right? Do I think streaming is hard? No. The reason why I don't think streaming is hard, number one, you, you choose the hours you want to stream, right? So you chose, so you're choosing to stream, you know, you're choosing to stream these hours at the end of the day, you know? So, you know, 
Do you have any interesting stories? Uh, I, uh, a few, a few. Um, the, the dumb one is the one that I got fired from it. So, but that's another, that's for another time. So I'll, I'll say it again. I'll say the story again another time. So. Yeah, it's different. It's different to every person to person, right? Who wants to stream, right? You guys know for a fact that I stream, I stream for a pretty long time, like for a very, very long time, just because I do enjoy, I do enjoy streaming. I do enjoy talking to you guys. I do enjoy, you know, socializing and meeting new people, bringing in some new chatters in here, you know, say, hey guys, how you guys doing, right? You know, and um, it's difficult to reach a couple of, of percent who have more than 20 viewers. Mm -hmm. No one fo uh, focuses streamers, but stream eight hours a day. So I'm someone. So if someone doesn't want it, uh, then be it. Sonoka's basically numb to stream. She streams for a long. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty numb to streaming, right? Even even once I get famous, like let's say quotation marks, right? Let's say I become famous, right? I become a very famous VTuber, right? Very famous indie VTuber. I'm still gonna be streaming for a long time. <laughs> I'm still I'm still gonna be streaming for a long time for a long time just because I do enjoy you know I do enjoy streaming you know at the end of the day so if you do it for fun it's not hard if you do it like work you need a lot of time and luck no because you want to know why you know you know why I say no to that West because you can work smarter, not harder, you know? So like in order for you to like blow up on, you know, on your on your success to, you know, your your journey to fame, right? Your journey to fame, right? You can just make, you know, you make videos, you know, you make videos on other platforms besides, you know, doing Twitch, you know, besides just streaming on Twitch. You can just do, you can just do all of that stuff, you know, you can, you can go make TikToks for the TikTok viewers. You can go make YouTube shorts. You can go make YouTube videos. You know, you can go do this. You can go do that. You know, at the end of the day, it's just kind of like, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not whether it's hard or not. It's whether you want, you know, how smart are you, you know, how smart are you on advertising yourself and standing out? That's, that's the main, that's the big difference. That's why I don't think it's hard, you know, just, just be smart, just get good, basically, you know, you know, just, 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 just get good. You know, if you're not good at streaming, well, you know, you're going to have to learn, you're just going to have to learn to get good. You know, it's like basically like a dark souls type of thing, you know, <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, you can't just run, you know, the same class as someone else, you know, cause you're going to suck at it, you know, cause you don't know the mechanics and everything like that. And the other person does know the mechanics, right? But like, if you decide to do something different, something unique, you know, but it, and it succeeds because you're doing it right. And no one else does it. Well, then, you know, you just outsmarted, you know, you just outsmarted the competition at the end of the day. So, uh, so, so for me personally, right. I don't think, I don't think streaming is hard. Get good or, or parasite. <laughs> Rip feel strong, man. <laughs> Uh -huh. We don't need we don't need a look, but you you spend you spend more time for uh, for another platform. Well, that makes sense too. Like luck, like luck is like one of the biggest like factors too as well. Like don't get me wrong, luck does actually you know do does equivalent into that. But at the same time, you know, you know that's like a that's like a skill that's like a skill in a, in a JRPG that that you know you can't really level up, you know at the end of the day you know there are some options that you can level up luck right but like you know luck can only get you so far at the end of the day right luck can only get you so far when it comes to being a lucky person you know so uh twitch has kind of started buffering a lot for me Ah, uh, don't worry it's okay it's 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 just on my side um because i'm downloading i'm downloading the vod right now at the moment so um yeah, so so do I think streaming is hard? No, it's not hard. The one thing I do have to say though that's pretty difficult, right? And this is where I stand on it and I do stand on this on this hill specifically is that um it's not hard 
to stream or to be a streamer, right? Anyone can do it. Anyone can 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 be a streamer. Okay. All right. But the hard part is entertaining your audience and keeping a concurrent like viewer base, you know, entertaining like over a thousand people, you know, like and keeping that number consistent, you know, while you're trying to grow. I think that's more difficult, you know, keeping an entertain keeping keeping the live stream entertaining for your audience to keep watching you, you know? That, that's how that's how I feel personally. Is it hard to be a streamer? No, it's not. And it's funny enough about it that some of these people are, who are complaining that streaming is hard are the are the the big, you know, the big millionaires that make more money in the world, you know? So it's kind of very funny and ironic that they say, oh, streaming is hard. It's so hard, which number one, it's not. Okay. It's not, it's not that hard. Okay. Even, even once I've hit, once I've hit, let, let's say for example, okay, let's put in the retro perspective, right? That I am streaming to, uh, 2000 people, right? Let's just say that I'm streaming to 2000 people, right? I'm still, I'm still going to be streaming for a long time. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to be streaming for a long time anyways cuz I do like I just enjoy streaming for a long time. I don't know why. I have no fucking reason why I'm like this for some godforsaken reason. I don't know why. I don't know. I just I just enjoy I just enjoy streaming, okay? So <laughs> So that's just that's just how that is specifically. You sound like a person who used up her her luck and now only sees her hard work put uh, put into making content. She had no luck. That's why she had us to do gotcha fully for her. <laughs> when you become famous, remember us humans. Of course, I'm going to remember you guys. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to put it in slow mo. I want to put the chat in slow mo. What are you talking about? That'd be too much. That'd be too much shit be passing by on the screen or so. I think I know who you are re referencing. Big VTubers burned, uh, burned out and tired. Um, well, I'm just talking about just streamers, like just streamers in general. So. Recommendations in YouTube sounds like luck. Yeah, these are all algorithms. If you, if uh, if we talk truly, but still, a little luck help helped in promotion. Yeah, cause like like uh, like like let's say for example in Corpse Party, right? In Corpse Party situation, right? He got lucky and got that DM. Ugh, sorry, I was eating early. Um, I got that DM or so specifically from that one YouTuber to say. Hey, do you want to, uh, do you want to, you know, do you want to stream, you know, do you want to stream, uh, with PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and, and fucking, you know, Pokimane and, and Valkyrie and whoever else, right? Or Saikuno, right? Saikuno was the other one, right? Um, you know, he, he got, he got lucky, you know? Oh, Corpse Hudson, whatever the fuck, I don't give a fuck, I don't give, I don't give a fucking crap about the name, okay? All right? Tomato, tomato, I don't give a shit, okay? Corpse Party, Corpse Husband, they're all the same shit to me, okay? All right, I know Corpse Party is a video game, I get it, I understand, but, you know, you guys know exactly what I mean, okay? Um, and, like, he, he got lucky, okay? He got lucky because he got that DM from, from that individual, and then that's how he, and that's how he blew up, you know? I'm here because YouTube recommended me Sonako's videos about the recent Niji stuff, and I think I think you're really, really without force Faza Fazit Positicity? You mean positivity? Uh, pos pos posivi uh, positivity? Is that what you mean, curious? Yeah, sometimes connections can be crazy. Yeah, the connections, the connections is can be crazy to be honest. Unexpected popularity. This is the other. This is the other side of the coin. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it looks like I can't download. It looks like I can't download the bot for now. So I'll probably download it after stream. So I'll download. I'll download. I'll download the bot after stream. So it's not really a big deal. So, anyways, um, because for some pair reason my internet is is going on the fritz for some odd. 
fucking reason. I don't know what's going on here. Well, it could be because of the the rant. The weather is so bad outside, so that's probably number one, number one reason. But anyways, like I said before, streaming is not hard. Okay, streaming is not fucking hard. All right, being entertaining and keeping that concurrent viewer and trying to grow. You know, just keeping that stream entertaining for your audience without losing them. I, I think it's personally hard. You know, that's 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 where I stand. That's that's where I personally stand. OK, now you can agree to disagree. That is fine. That is totally fine. That is your opinion at the end of the day. Right. Like that is your opinion at the end of the day. But that's how that's how I see things, you know, where, you know, you know, if one person is not entertained or like, let's say 10 people are not entertained where well, you're going to lose those 10 viewers and they're going to go to somewhere else, you know? During pandemic, few Minecraft 100 days videos pushed channels over 1 million subs and now I see them burned out without the ability to make fresh content. Mm hmm. Well, the first one, the first one who did the 100, the 100 days was, well, not the first one, but the one that popped up the most was uh, Forge Labs. Forge Labs was one of the ones that, that kind of blew up. And I kind of do watch, enjoy watching Forge Labs. So it's not difficult, but you just need consistency. Like, no, the problem, like you can be consistent. Like you can be consistent with the thing, but if you're not funny or if you're not entertaining, right? If you're not funny or entertaining, you're not, you're not going to grow. Like you can be consistent as much as you want, but, but you know, but if you're not funny, you're not entertaining, you're not a pro player, you know, you're not like skilled, you know, you're not skilled at the game or anything like that, you know, then it's kind of like, you know, you know, they're not going to watch you for very long. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know, your mom trashing the void outside the house. No, it's just the wind here. It's been ridiculously crazy. All right, take care, Potato King. Good night, good night. Take care, hun. You be safe. You take care, you be safe. I'll definitely catch you on the next time or so. Okay, hun. Take care, take care. But yeah, no, nonetheless, though, that's pretty much, that's pretty much, frankly, about it. Like, like I said, like it's like, like I said, it's just hard being entertaining. You know, there's some people, there's just some people who can be consistent as much as they want, but if they're not entertaining, they're not gonna watch. You know, that's that's just how it is, right? You know, it's obvious, right? You're not gonna watch. You're not, you're not going to watch a TV show that's always consistently coming every, you know, Saturday, you know, every Saturday, you know, afternoon, right? And it's not entertaining. Why would you want to keep watching it at the end of the day? You know? Like, I can say this for an example for an anime, right? You know, let's say for an anime is airing every Saturday at, at like 2 p.m., right? For an example, right? You know, they can be they can be consistent as much as they want, but if the show is not entertaining enough, the audiences loses, you know, they lose interest in it and they'll just go watch something else. So that's basically is what I'm saying in the in the retrospective when it comes to streaming, you know. Like you can be consistent as much as you want, but if, if you're not entertaining at all, you know, they're not gonna watch you. So, you know, that that's it. That's where I'm saying that's the hard part, you know, that's what I'm saying. That's the hard part. You know, do I think streaming is difficult? No, it's not. The clippers also contribute to it in some in some cases. Yeah, but if you don't have any clippers to clip your stuff and post them and share them around because you're not entertaining, then whose fault is that most of the time? It's your fault because you're not entertaining. So <laughs> so that's, that's like I said, like I said, like it just comes around. It just comes back around to the point that, you know, you just got to be entertaining. That, that, that's it. That, that's it. That's all it is to it. Not a lot of people... You know, just there's some some people who are just not entertaining. Like, like take a look at the, like some of the some of the uh, hot streamer girls or so, the hot tub streamer girls. You know, I'm like, what are they doing? They're not they're not entertaining. The only way they're entertaining is you know, you guys know exactly, right? <laughs> you know, they you know, but they're not you know, they're not in an actual like normal normal entertaining kind of way. You know, they're in the other kind of entertaining way. Maybe I should start streaming the, the most boring streams on earth. <laughs> I don't know. It just really depends, you know, at the end of the day, you know. 
like I said, for you, for you, for true, for you, for turning into, like I said, being like streaming, anyone can stream. Anyone, anyone can stream. But the problem is, is being entertaining and having it as a successful career, and like you know, becoming like you know, like Ludwig or uh, like Connor, Iron Mouse, Shy Lily, uh, you know, all of these other bigger, bigger names or so is, you know, being entertaining or so for the, for, you know, for that mass audience, you know. Is uh, it's it's it, it can be it can be pretty challenging, you know. But I got Ori games on Switch Christmas, so I can stream. I can stream that. Ooh. The Switch has special categories for that now. I heard it got bulls and bikinis. I have no idea. I have no idea. I just only know they have a hot tub thing, so I don't know anything about it. So I recall that one YouTube stream that has uh that has that. That has that dude staring at the camera for god knows how long. What the fuck? <laughs> Maybe it's difficult to be funny then you uh, then you talk to yourself. Unfortunately, many videos talk about setting up equipment and the and everything else, but they forget to say that at first you will communicate with yourself. 